Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Wednesday, the 25th of April. Um, for you visual viewers, we do have a special guest today, but for you audio viewers, I mean listeners, um, we have someone pretty cool lined up. But you'll have to wait. We're taking it back um, until you hear from our sponsor, Dave Phillips. Remember that house that we advertised for Dave last week on the podcast? 2385 Lake Vista in Christiansburg for 640000 Well, Dave got it under contract for his sellers the very next day. So if you've been thinking of selling your home and want the experienced Phillips real estate team in your corner, give Dave a call at 540-346-4552 and they can help you out and have your home advertised on this podcast. That is if Dave doesn't sell it before we record, which he might very well. So hurry up and feel free to check out that listing at 2385 Lake Vista in Christiansburg to see the type of top level photography that Phillips real estate uses when marketing your home. Call Dave at 540-346-4552 and have Phillips Real Estate sell your house this year. Guys, okay, so we finally are back. We've recorded not even a week ago, so we finally didn't skip a week. Mm -hmm. Um, Things have calmed down a little bit, but yeah, as you said, Georgia, do you want to go ahead and introduce? I don't think she needs an introduction. She obviously won't speak for herself, so go ahead and take it away. Can you say something? Take it away. Hi, guys! (laughs) Um, yeah, so we have Raven here today. Um, pretty much it just worked out as she's staying with me. We'll get into it when we get to roommate report card, but she's staying with us for a little bit. Um, so instead of her playing the switch in my room, we thought she'd be too loud, so we'll just put her on the couch over here. And make her do manual labor. <laughs> yeah, she's my ch- When I have children, they will be doing every single bit of labor. I will be <laughs> not punishing them. I will teach them the real ways, like I'm teaching Raven. Yeah. She doesn't skip anything with me. No, she needs to be slapped into shape. This is her paying us back for buying her lunch and dinner today. Okay. You're a terrible podcast guest. As soon as it got, went on, you froze. You were all chatty chatty before this. Oh, exactly. whatever. <laughs> now she, you- no, she gets she gets so nervous in front of camera, she turns into the queen of like one word answers. Yeah. You get her off camera, you guys. Listen up. We can't get her all right, okay. Shake, shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it off. Shake it off. Who is that? Tay Tay Swift. Are you going to that concert? I wish. <laughs> you didn't want to get paid for. You got a, you got one K? No. Okay. <laughs> didn't think so. I wish you I, I wish you, I hope they're playing my favorite song, Pitcher to Burn. Well, I'll let you know when I'm there on Sunday. We'll also get to that later. Um, but yeah, we have Raven here, but we just have her until we get too annoyed or until she gets hungry, which is a very high uh, probability. Both have already happened today. <laughs> Well, yeah, those are those happen like most every people eat ten three minutes. meals a day. People, ha- okay. what happened today? You skipped breakfast and you had a double cheeseburger meal, and double fries, and a diet coke. Wait, wait, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't steal my that's. <laughs> I know I'm all the day finding out. Well, they're gonna find out. We we're so transparent on the podcast. I'm always like, ooh, like ooh, that was something embarrassing. Well, okay, or, oh, I don't be- want to talk about that, but then I always I'm like, ooh, that's something. To talk I'll about. be grounded for a week. Yeah. When ha- when when I get home. When have you ever been grounded? Actually, uh, never. <laughs> So I recast. I sort of escape trouble. I don't know about that. I just okay. Anyways, let's just jump right into our recap. Um, I just also seem to have developed a new routine of washing my hair every single time before we do the podcast. So just have to address that. I always have washing my hair. Too. Yeah, you did too. I, we're just real comfy, cozy on the couch. Raven yeah. obviously did. Raven, Raven needs a mullet. <laughs> I'm going on taking please. a bath before I go to bed because that's my nighttime ritual. Can you guys please comment if you want to see Raven in a classic mullet? Because she's got the cur- she's got the frizz. She's got the curtain bangs. She would kill. Some I she want needs- my mullet back. See. The wheezing that happens in my ear after every time she makes a comment is so funny. Um, yeah, she'd look great with the mullet. She would. I agree. Oh, I'd love to be like Billy Ray. Have we talked about your Billy Ray obsession? No. <laughs> Have we not? I don't know. There's no way we didn't talk about that. It happened like a year ago, so unless we did it ages ago. I guess. Yeah. Raven, for how long? A solid few months. A solid say. few months was obsessed with Billy Ray Cyrus. Like, had a full-on crush. This is not, not, I don't know if not, we can talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, we should pass it because it was kind of crazy. <laughs> to the point, That's all you get to know. To the point where she had to delete her Twitter because a Billy Ray Cyrus impersonator <laughs> DM'd her and she legit thought she was talking to Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> she did, I he had like two followers. <laughs> she forgot to check that part. She was so starstruck. No blue check, no problem. She was so flattered. I've done that before. I think it was after um, 
out. Oh, it was after something, and it popped up on my phone. Oh, it was Liz Cambridge. And it said, e, it was like Liz Cambridge. And I was like, what the? I was like, this is so random. And I click on it. It was some random. No, but it wasn't that crazy, because at the time, it was like during the tournament, it was like, like during, when yeah. you were killing it, and like everyone was reaching out to you. So it was like, oh, like she probably would DM you, like uh, she Aussie not, Connection. I'm just saying, yeah. But it was, like, it was actually really humbling. <laughs> she got so excited, she showed me. I was like, me, oh my then, god. And you you should have just like not even told me that it wasn't her i like never would have but i clicked on the profile in front of you oh okay well, i don't remember that part obviously so you could probably lie and i, I was at what no yeah it was after we yeah no i definitely remember it was just it. probably after you had like six threes or something no i mean crazy like that no, it wasn't yeah it was towards the end or nine thing. threes yeah i've never gotten that you're getting that's kayla yeah casey's just crazy Casey's I have a nickname for Kayla King, which I called her since high school was Casey Crazy. That's true. What's George's nickname? Actually, I can't even ask her things like that. You have no idea what she's going to say. Georgia yeah. Lee. Yeah, Georgia Lee. That's good. Um, and then Aussie. You say Aussie. 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 She goes, get out, boy. Boy? Boy? <laughs> do it. Boy? No, good day. Good day, boy. Wait, did you do your Steve Irwin impression last time? I'm getting confused. She did. She definitely okay, did. Okay, never mind. Save it. <laughs> Um, yeah, moving on from that, um, I've been loving the spring vibes. What about you? Yeah, it's been really nice. Except the past few days were, like, cold, but it was, like, a nice cold where, like, it mm-hmm. got warmer throughout the day, which I was, like, happy about. Yeah. It's just been nice because the sun's been out more, which really helps with my mood. Yeah. Personally. Sure. Um, and also it helps that we've discovered how good Kung Fu tea is. Oh, my God. Kung mm-hmm. Fu yeah. Talk about that. Mm-hmm. I get the pina colada slush oh. with mango... <laughs> going with mango popping jellies mm. and maybe <laughs> <Stop. Okay, sorry. laughs> maybe i'll splurge on a california roll but mm. overall it's an addiction their slushes like the fruit flavored slushes are so refreshing they're unbeatable up by the pool or on a hot day uh-huh. or the oreo slush if you want like a mm. sweet dessert oh my god it's, it's so really good. good raven she's she non-stop can- moaning i'm sorry but Raven, control yourself. Okay. What's your it's order? Okay. What's your order from country? Pina colada with mango jellies. Yeah. Oh, she got the same thing. Yeah. I thought you got strawberry. No, I love another one. You, what? you want another one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go back. We'll go back soon. Um. So yeah, we discovered that lately, and it's been incredible. I think we're gonna keep it up all summer. Um, while the weather's warm, it's just incredible. When they get back from Australia. When we do get back from Australia, yes. Raven's got some thing against us going to Australia. Yeah. She genuinely thinks Liz and Kayla are going to get bashed by a kangaroo. Like, I don't live... I didn't say a kangaroo. I'm worried about venomous snakes or venomous spiders. So, I'm... for those Australian listeners, we'll be walking down the streets of Wendery and our ankles will be getting bitten by a black snake in Raven's book. Uh, I'll, I'll, be walking, Brown. I'll be walking around the streets of CBD Melbourne... And apparently a snake's gonna come out and strangle me to death. Is that offensive? Or just that's just ignorant? Like... It's just very American ignorant. I'm just protective <laughs> of my sister. <laughs> Raven, she'll be okay. Both of them will be fine. Fine. You better take care of her. Send me some pictures of crocodiles. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we will. Because we're gonna go see crocodiles. Um We genuinely are. Oh I know. We'll we'll fill you guys in when it comes to that. When it gets so to excited. Time, we'll document yeah. it all. Because I have an itinerary and everything. Yeah. Perfect. You still have to go to Kmart. Okay. Anyways, the next thing I want to recap is Imbalance Yoga. Uh, again, we're excited to be in our partnership with them soon, but we just had to recap. Since our last episode, we've been two more times. We went to Kitten Yoga. I we It was like Kitten Yoga, and I think they were like genuinely six weeks old or something like that. They were four weeks old. So they like let them out of the cage, and we're all stretching, and one comes up to me. And for the rest of the hour, I just had to lay there sleeping with it because it like it moved like it was like on my arm, on my chest. It did not leave my side. It like tucked into all all my like like crevices. Aww. It would not leave me alone. I felt like, and I was trying to put it back when the time was up, so I had it in my hand. And I tried to put it back in the thing, and it was like clawing onto me. It did not want to leave my arm. I if we could have adopted them on the spot, I would have had a cat in my house right now. There was literally <gasps> no yoga that was done. Like we were just busy. Looking and training cats. Are, it was the cutest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it was just incredible. It was such a it was such a cool thing. Um, that one lovely stayed with me the whole time. The whole t- the whole hour, yeah. The whole hour. It was so sweet. Did you have one that stayed by you? No, <laughs> I had one for a little bit. It fell asleep like in my arms. It was like the cutest thing ever. Yeah, they had a really deep connection. A really deep connection. I think they sent you a dog person. <laughs> 
I'm a dog person, but I'm, I'm getting... Uh, I'm literally allergic to cats. Oh, yeah, she was, like, sneezing and, like, yeah. coughing and stuff, but, like, you could tell she wasn't going to give the cat up. No, I was not going to give the cat Like, also, I've had... Because I lived on the farm, we had, like, a bunch of cats. Like, <laughs> feral or domestic, we just had cats. But I feel like you get used to them. Unless it's a lie and she's placebo, but... <laughs> I live on a farm with obviously pollen and horses and cats and every other thing. And my allergies go nuts, but then they chill out. And, and that was a really puppy. good idea. Oh, yeah. My family mm-hmm. did get a new puppy. Mm-hmm. Stitch. Yeah. From my favorite movie, Lilo and Stitch. So, yeah, now we have a Le- now I have a Lilo and a Stitch, my dogs. The story is complete. That's so sweet. Now we, now we need a... Nope. Don't even finish that. Um, so our class that we went to today was called Fitzana, and I just have to give a formal apology to Georgia, Kayla, and Carly, because I signed us all up for that, and I didn't really know what it was, and turns out it was like 30 minutes of hit cardio, and then 30 minutes of yoga, and I just thought it was like, I don't Deep know. Deep stretch. I thought, it, yeah. yeah. But honestly, it worked out well because after we did like the cardio, then you just go into like a deep relaxation state, and I've never been like so, like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry out. Yeah. No, out. I was like fine because I didn't have a basketball workout today because I had oh, I did, a million yeah. things, whatever. But like all of them did have that and I then did. they came right to that and it was just like, it was so hot in there. I think they just had hot yoga, which is fine. I um, think it was on because I think it was on for that too. Probably. It got our heart rate up and we were sweating. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Like the relaxation after that, like Kayla fell asleep. Yeah. I fell asleep for a little bit and it wasn't even long. No, it was, it was like, literally 30 minutes of stretching. Yeah, we just got our heart rate up so fast, and then the heat and oh my stretch. God. It was so Not good. Yeah, I love Shavas. Um, sh- sh- Shavasana. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's Raven's favorite part of yoga when you lay flat on your back and fall you asleep. Don't have to do anything. <laughs> you don't move. Our mom teaches yoga. You're a fitness yes. queen, Raven. No comment. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite exercise? Shavasana. Swimming. Shavasana. No, it's definitely swimming. Yeah. What do you do in the pool? I like to dive for sticks and rings and everything. I have literally, you I've never seen you dive. That's because we don't have any sticks or rings or anything. That doesn't do you have a pool? Wait, can you actually dive? Yes. I can only dive under the water. That's why I always end up with summer ear infections. How do you dive above the water? She's talking about like jumping in and like doing like a dive. That was just like diving under and like getting stuff. What? Oh my gosh. You know when you dive, no, Raven, I get only, you, babe. Okay. You know when you're outside of the pool and you run and you like di- yeah. dive. Yeah. She, you're thinking of that. Yeah. She's thinking of diving when you're just like you dive. You have to like dive under the water to like go to the bottom. Oh, I love doing that. I yeah. kill my. So breath. you you don't you can't dive off like a diving board. No, I uh, would probably get hurt. She I don't think, think we should try. Hurt. Yeah, I think we should make her try. We should definitely make her try that. This Whoa. Summer. Okay, what's coming up? What? What's coming up? Okay. She'll do anything to be on the YouTube channel. <laughs> anything. Well, we do have a hotel maybe when we're in Kansas. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, we could try that if it's not too shallow. Yeah. Next on our recap, we have the NBA playoffs. We've been watching oh, that like crazy. It's we- literally on in the background right now just because I cannot take my eyes off of it. I know. We should probably turn it off so we're focused more. But, hey, we're just hanging out, guys. We're we watching are. the Knicks. And this is what y'all want. Unfiltered, yeah. relaxed. This is literally- what <laughs> This is how watching the game. This is what we've been. <laughs> Yeah, we would be doing if we weren't recording, just talking and watching. This. And if you hear that noise, that's when his collar shaking. It is when he's collar. Yeah. But yeah. yesterday's games, that's when um, Boston and Atlanta played. And I think it got to the point where I was like, okay, Boston's going to win this. I, by the way, I'm wearing for the whatever, my Boston pajama pants. Um, anyways, so I watched the game, and then it looked like they had him by like power of March by switching on to the Denver Minnesota game. Mm-hmm. So that's a good series. And I love Anthony Edwards, love him. Um, so I switched it on, and then I see in the tiny gray box up in the corner that it was a two-point game. So I put that back on, and then it got to the point when they inbounded it to Trey, and I literally was like to Liz, he's just going to jack this right now. And he jacked it and went, I was like, so close. Yeah. So what game so did you fall asleep on? The I one. fell asleep. I did. I, yeah, I had four minutes left in the fourth quarter, which I honestly could have mm. stayed up to watch. But, like, my TV is so close to my bed, it's so bright that I was like – I couldn't handle it. Yeah, my TV's a little smaller, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Um, so we've been watching that. Uh, who are you rooting oh, for? Oh, I also oh. love Phoenix, but I don't know about. Maybe it was just. Maybe it was just a series. I just couldn't really get into them playing. Except Devin Booker played really well last night. But now that it's going to be, I think it's Denver and then the Suns, right? That's what you said. I think it is, but that'll be really good to watch because they're both. 
And it's, yeah, you said it started on Saturday. That would be yeah. really fun. So who are you rooting for, like, to win the playoffs? I don't know. Really? Mm-hmm. That's crazy because if you would have asked her last year, like, it she was, like, a diehard Suns fan. But I feel like now, like, and this is stupid to say, but, like, I feel like I can just appreciate different teams for, like, different things now. Like, I'm not just, like, biased, like. Mm. And I like. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, I feel like you know more people now. Or you just, I don't know. Watching more intensely you appreciate, also. Yeah. Like, something's gotten into me now where I'm, like, not just, like, watching basketball to watch basketball. I'm watching basketball to be, like, studious. Yeah. No, you are. She's gotten, like, so, like, analytical watching the games. Like, I don't know. Like, strategically. Like, you're not just watching for entertainment now. No, I'm not. It's disgusting. Yeah. No. I mean, as long as you enjoy it. I do it's enjoy fascinating. It. It's cool to watch you do that. Um, but yeah, Denver and the Suns play on Saturday. So. Yeah, that'll be really good. Be really Except good. I feel like wholeheartedly, I love the Suns, but I feel like Denver's pretty hard to beat. Isn't that the night I you're know. at the concert? No, I'm at the concert the next day. We're really on Facebook. Like, we've been on this for 15 minutes already. We haven't, I haven't even talked gone about anything. Any of that stuff. <laughs> We should Jeez. move on to yeah. the banquet. No, can I talk about? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. guys, um, just pray for me when he chewed up my retainer, and now my teeth are gonna be crooked forever because I don't have my impression. And my ones. toothbrush. That's replaceable. My retainer, unfortunately, is not. So I'm gonna. She's I can't at the doghouse. Even... She, yeah. I am going to have to schedule an appointment and my teeth are going to be crooked, but yeah. I just wanted to congratulate Winnie on being two for two. She chewed up both mine and George's retainer. So shout out Winnie. Oh, she chewed up mine last year, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She's a hundred percent. Good like, job, Winnie Marie Amor. Yeah. So that was just a little update. I had to do that. And then yeah, next. And then what was it? Two nights ago, Monday night. Yeah. We had a banquet. So thank you to those who came. It was really cool, but also really sad. Um, obviously we played with those girls. We've done so much. Like, we've accomplished so much. That, like, that connection between them is just, like, so much, like, stronger. And obviously, they're going to do bigger and better things. But I just couldn't help myself but cry a little. So emotional, guys. So emotional. And it was just, like, I don't know. Yeah, we're just so appreciative of, like, everyone had different stories of how they ended up at Virginia Tech with yeah. us. But we all came together and really had that common goal and to yeah. get it done together. Oh, my gosh. And um, people, like, literally don't, like, you guys don't see, like... <laughs> The locker room, like the hotel, like when people are like in tears going through like the worst part of the season, like so many, so many of us had like so many challenges and it was just so nice to know that like we had like those girls that were there like really cared about us. So, yeah. And it was just like, you know, when you're, like, it's, <laughs> I don't want to say trauma bonding, but it's like we've been through like just as many bads as we have goods. Sure. So it's like brought us so much closer. It was so, so emotional because like. Wholeheartedly, I don't think any other teammate really has known me as like on a deeper level than one of them have. Yeah, um, um, we've just been through a lot, and so it was really hard to say goodbye. I had like an episode yesterday morning. <laughs> I like, couldn't stop crying. If you guys follow me on Instagram, that was my cry for help. It was a cry for help. Um, yeah, it was just I don't know. Had to say goodbye to T Soul. Uh, I actually didn't know she left, and that's what like triggered my. I knew she was because she leave, was like but... leaving, and I feel like for the for a moment now, everyone's been like leaving yeah. but i just like it didn't occur to me that just like it was gonna be a lost lift and then she's, right she's on the plane tomorrow. actually gonna be gone like yeah. in my head i'm like i know they're leaving but in my head they're gonna be at workouts yeah like, all summer literally which doesn't make sense like i'm gonna see um, them soon yeah yeah so no Honestly, for the for the sake for the sake of their success and fulfillment and all that i hope i don't see them for no. ages no no for hope, ages because yeah. i want them to go and do all the great things that they can and then when when they're on their off season come back and see me but I hope I don't see them for ages. Yeah. In the best way. Um, I agree. Um, but speaking of us, we're still here and doing finals and School. everything. So do you have any finals coming up? Not that I know of, not that I care of. I'm a doing what I have to do. <laughs> it's April 26th. And she said, not that I know of. I mean, I'm sure I know I have, have some, some but I just do them when they're on canvas on the day. Pretty good at that. <laughs> uh, if you ask me, except one class has been kind of grinding my gear. So I have a tutor tomorrow at 8am for it. Well, I'm proud of you for taking that initiative to set that up. Thanks. It Maybe was academic advice. Like Miss, Miss <laughs> Laura. Miss Laura helps me with that. Laura's a queen. She is a blessing. Helps us so much. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's a very good relationship, Laura and us, because, like, she trusts us. And we, like, she's obviously there for whatever, but she also, like, she knows that we're very much anxiety and yeah. <laughs> grade-driven. Oh, so. we get our stuff done, yeah. Yeah. 
um lord's the best yeah we're so lucky to have all the resources we have here and the people yeah um here to support us it's amazing yeah especially since we decided to go to the final four and miss like three so weeks of class. class so i have to make up four physics labs in the span of no, three days i don't even know because like sometimes i'm in class like no, i'm not sometimes the days i'm in class when i don't have basketball and there's like six people in there and i know it's like a 20 slash 25 people class i'm like where are you guys because number one like you just paid for that I know. Number two, how are you like in not in class and still passing? I have no clue. No, I don't know. It's a struggle for me. I hate missing. Um, huh. But you know, life goes on. So all I need to do is finish up two more classes and I'm graduated. Which and is then insane. on to your master's. Yeah, I did apply to my master's in instructional technology. Um, and for that, I had to do a resume, which is the first time I've ever done a resume in my She's life. Been which is probably- maybe five hours on that resume. It was really like the formatting I couldn't figure out until Laura Queen sent me a template and then it took me like no time. And then she would be like, Georgia, what volunteering have I done? <laughs> there was so many times I would yell across the room like, Georgia, what have I ever done? Like, can you think of anything? What have I something? achieved that's not basketball? <laughs> Which, uh, shout out to you guys because I put the podcast on there as like a big chunk and I think that's actually a really cool thing to have. Yeah. Being a podcast. Please say basketball again, Georgia. What, basketball? Yeah, I love your Australian accent when you love say Love you, Rave. <laughs> love you, Rave. Love you, Georgia Lee. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me. You need to update them on a few things. Yeah, I've been into reading, back into reading. Because also, oh my gosh, no, for real. So ever since, I have like this theory that ever since like the tournament and stuff like that, obviously we like, we travel so much. And like a lot of the times we're resting as in, we're not like always ready because like we have practice and stuff like that. So when we have the time off, we're genuinely in like limbo mode. So I swear to God, I developed some type of like attention span disorder or something like that. I don't want to say ADHD because obviously that's not, but like no, my, atten- not my, atten- yeah. my attention span went like this. So ever since the tournament stopped, I've, I almost swore. I've been into meditating. I downloaded the Calm app. Like I've been like really trying to be mindful and like present and like trying to occupy my mind instead of just like wasting it. So, like, I wholeheartedly think that me doing that has helped me with reading again. Like, mm-hmm. by being able to, like, concentrate. Like, I meditate and then I read. When have you been meditating? In the morning when I wake up. That's awesome. After I brush my teeth. That's so I meditate and then I get my coffee. For how long? Five to eight minutes. Mm-hmm. Depends on the audio I listen to. Oh, so you, so you use the Calm app? Yeah. For that? Yeah. Okay. Um, Does it cost money? We get a free subscription because we're students. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm reading How Basketball Can Save the World right now, and it's pretty insightful because I am a sociology student. It's, like, intertwining literally the stuff that we learn about and basketball, and it's pretty cool to see that um, connection. And I also bought Grant Hill's um, autobi- it's autobiography, right, if you write it yourself, mm-hmm. or biography. Auto. Um, because someone recommended it to me because he wanted to play till he was, like, 40 years old or something like that. So it's about all of those challenges, and I can't wait – because, like, now I have books lined up. I want to read them so I can get through them. So I'm excited to read them. Yeah. I'm so proud of you for reading. And then I'm also, like, toxically back on Xbox. But I've been reading more than I've been playing Xbox because I got back into Call of Duty and I downloaded, like, Madden, to be honest. Honestly, just to learn the rules of football. <laughs> I'm a visual learner. Um, They're going to love that. No, I'm being, like, legit. I play no, Madden I to, like, learn. So, like, when I'm at the... At the <laughs> Herky games, I can know what this means. What does it I mean? Don't know what that means. I don't know. I'm yet to find that out. False start. Yeah, False no. start. Um, I love your accent. Thanks. She's contributing so much. Yeah, and then I'm also so realizing now that I've been doing a lot of a lot of online shopping and not necessarily buying, but more so putting in the cart and closing the app because my money is tight. <laughs> I have always said this. Um, shopping apps are the best like social substitution media. for social media. Yeah. Like instead of like scrolling on Instagram or whatever, I literally scroll on ASOS. I f- we already said this. Well, I'm but... doing that right now. Yeah, you love Walmart. <laughs> I'm uh, right now. I'm shopping on Walmart and eBay for the sensory FX fidgets, which is I'm sending them on an earring in Australia. Okay. No, you're not allowed to talk about this. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> I told you until May 23rd. I know it's so hard. I know it's okay. Um, you know how OCD I am. But yeah, you should definitely, if you're having a problem on Twitter, things are making you angry, people are pissing you off. Am I allowed to say it? I guess. I say it. I almost people are that's only on the radio. You're not supposed you off. to love say it. Um, just download like Abercrombie, uh, the app, and then just get a new Scroll hoodie. on there. Yeah. Actually, look at those. So those are, our, those are our tips. Um, now into our first segment, 20-something minutes later. 
We have Roommate Report Card, which is brought to you by 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some awesome apparel, uh, you can go in there and mention us for 15% off, located on Main Street. They have amazing jewelry, um, shoes, accessories, everything. And you need stuff for summer, so you need to go. It's As do we. Actually, you need stuff for summer, autumn, winter, and spring because the weather in Blacksburg has been all four of those in the past four days. Excellent, excellent observation. So you definitely need to go to 310 Rosemont um, and mention us. Georgia, what do you have for roommate report card? Um, Raven's been staying with us for how? What, what night is this? Like the fifth night in the past two weeks? <laughs> You're dreaming. Something like that. I mean, no, I'm not even being mad. So yeah. I would say... Look, aside from the times I'm trying to do homework and I tell Raven to show us and she's like, okay. And then two minutes later, she says something random about something else random. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to have to go to my room. You just have to do I that. would give Raven a B plus, which is good. There's room for improvement, but you're really steady. Yeah. She's, um, basically, anytime like my parents were up here for the banquet and Raven came oh, up yeah. and I was like, meh, just leave her. <laughs> Like, we're you were here last out. week though, weren't you? Yeah, she was. Yeah, so you were at cooking the dog classes. Yeah. So the cooking class, like my parents came up for that and I was like, meh, leave her. just leave her. She's gonna, yeah, she brings light to the room. Yeah, we hang out. Like, she's yeah, we looking, hang. We she's looking after together. Winnie. Actually, I'm gonna give you an A. Yeah, because when we leave, she uh, has fun with Winnie and she also took the trash out. I she said did. that was her That was her exercise of the day. The, the one, oh, the one thing I'm gonna take off of you is, oh. She dropped her phone, like, in the couch last night. So we're trying to get it out of her. Over. I pull the couch back, and there's about four or five musketeer wrappers just tucked behind the couch. So I said, just... Raven, you know where these came from? And she goes, shh, shh. I'm like, I can't – I see them with my two eyes, and you just dubbed yourself in. Got anything to say for yourself? Check behind my bed at home. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. So she's obviously um, made a habit of sneaking candy and carried that over into her visits with us. Um, I take blame because I have a candy jar, like a full on. It is always over there and it's accessible, so. Very accessible. Yeah, I'm definitely going to eat some after this. I am notorious for hiding candy in my room because I'm scared people are going to eat it. I don't think anybody. Okay, that's fine. Raven. We found you your know, rappers. We've been doing the That's So Raven segment for the past 28 minutes, and it hasn't even been titled That's So Raven, but I think we should get into the That's So Raven segment. Yeah, let's do it. Um, my thing today is I left because I had to make up all those labs today. So obviously, you know, Raven's here, and obviously she wants me to order her McDonald's because she's obsessed with McDonald's. So I did, and to like I have the dash pass or whatever, so I have to go over a certain limit. So I got her her meal, and then I got myself uh, a fry and a Diet Coke. And I come back and discover that Raven, in fact, ate her two, cheese, two cheeseburger meal, her fries, my Diet Coke, and uh, my extra fries. So the reason why that came up, though, is because I came home from class and Raven's sitting there with a the Diet Coke. And I thought it was strange because, to be fair, like, you don't really order, like, soft drink, when, whatever. No. And I was like, I was, like, messing with her because I know that Raven only likes to drink her soft drink when it's, like, flat. It's not carbonated, right? Right. Like, you like, you like she likes it to sit out. So I was like, oh, is it still bubbly? Like, I'll help you. I'll drink some. Like, I was trying to get it out of her. And she was, like, really weird about it. And then I told I told Liz that I was messing with Raven about it. She was like, that's literally my Diet Coke. <laughs> so you claim to not know. And then she, and then, no, I did not know. <laughs> she, I she don't know how to cook hey, breakfast. No, what Raven. To do with she this? didn't say she didn't know. She just didn't admit to you doing anything or, like, eating it. Because the two fries, too, I know that was the thing that you bought it up. And you kept that well a secret, too. Yes, I didn't know. There's no way you thought that I ordered you two things of fries. No, but somehow my mind didn't work. To... <laughs> my hunger took over. I don't know how to cook breakfast, so I had. Wait, but that's a lie. Tea latte. Babe, I've seen you make spaghetti with blueberries, Greek yogurt. <laughs> we don't have any of that stuff here. We have spaghetti, cottage cheese. I'm gonna make that tomorrow though. And bacon bits. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's think about our fridge right now. What would Raven put in a pasta? We have Cool Whip. She would put Oreos, Cool Whip. <laughs> We have grape tomatoes. You like grape tomatoes. Ooh, ranch. Okay, pasta for breakfast. <laughs> ranch. We have ranch. ranch. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> you would so make pasta out of that. I'm doing that tomorrow, right? <laughs> and we have bacon. Mm. Oh, we do have bacon. <laughs> she likes fake bacon bits. She doesn't like um, real bacon. Right? I do like real bacon if you practically burn it, might. I can't... I don't have anything else to say. What's like... Are you are you okay with the amount of mates being said right now? Well, it's not really the word mate; it's her own word that mate. I just accepted. Yeah, okay. Mate, mate. You sound like. Have you guys seen Nemo when those seagulls are? 
That's what I'm trying to do. No, do what do I do? Mike, 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 Mike. Okay, thank you. Anyways, so, we should watch Nemo. Yes! Now we have to. Now we're locked in for good. Yeah, or Dory. I, like I haven't seen Dory. Ugh, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I mean, obviously that was in the film. I'm a freaking Disney geek. It's the way Raven's energy went from zero in the beginning to 100 right she now. She just has to warm up. Yes, I love you. It only took her 30 oh minutes. It's okay, girl, me too. I get nervous in some yes. situations. And now she's all loose. Okay, thank you. Um, so anyways, cool. our next segment, Song of the Week, is brought to you by Hokey House. Head down to Hokey House, listen to great music, have some great food. There's the jukebox on the second floor, so go play your Song of the Week or play our Song of, our, our song of the Week. Georgia, what is your Song of the Week? Please My tell me. My Song of the Week is... So there's a band from home called Spacey Jane, and they did a cover of The Only Exception by Paramore, so I've been listening to that. But now that it's official... We, I got tickets for Liz and Kayla to go see them when we're in Australia, so it'd be really cool to go to a concert. And, no, and it's not even... It's um, not in my state. It's not no. in, like, Melbourne. So, like, we're going to Palm Cove for a week, and Palm Cove's, like, a 20-minute drive from Cairns. So we're going to some random pub in Cairns to watch them play, which I think is it's pretty so cool. It's so convenient. How did you Very even discover... Because they were going on tour, and I was like, oh, let me see if there's any shows in Melbourne. And, like, conveniently, I saw that we're in Palm Cove while they're literally in Cairns. And for all of you guys, it's not... That like I feel like Americans pronounce it as like canes or cans. I haven't I haven't known. How do you say it? Cans. 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 Like a can of beer. How do you spell it? C A A I N E S or something like that. Oh, so there's no R? No. Oh my cans. God. Where's the R in that? I don't know. I don't know. I so just... it's like can of beer or can of That's juice. what I'm saying. Like a okay, can cans. like cans. Okay, we're going to cans. I can't wait. Um and that song is really good too. You guys should listen to it. Yeah. Um what's yours? Mine, I don't have song of the week, I just have comments of the week. Um so I'm going to see Taylor on Sunday. Obviously, I'm so excited. Uh that's on the 30th in Georgia. And I thought for this segment, I would just say what I would prefer the two surprise acoustic songs to be. Um, so back to December, which is about Taylor Lautner. Obviously, that song slaps that would kill um to see live there. Also, I almost do. If you know, you know. It's amazing. And then this is a long shot, but Dress from Reputation is just an absolute banger. And that would it kill. It is really good. Reputation's my favorite album. That would kill live. Revenge I mean, is I, the best song that, by Taylor. Uh, yeah, I have to disagree, but I love you. Um, but What song goes Ra- with? Raven, please. Song. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, I lost my train of thought. Just talk. What do you want to say? I was going to say, what song is any better when it set, first starts out, go stand in the corner and think about what you did? Yeah, you like that part. Um, I remember what I was going to say. I have, like, not looked at the set list a lot because I kind of want to be surprised um, when I'm there, so. Just please be careful. We'll see. I will be careful. Thank you, Raven. She's very concerned about the drive to Georgia. She's always concerned about anything that Elizabeth's going to. Um, Which is the protective older sister. It's just the gene in you, isn't it, Raven? Yes. And unfortunately, I have to give my favorite thing back to Georgia for a little bit. Oh, yeah. You can tell them about that. Georgia, last year when she went home, she gave me this luggage measure of weight thing. So, like, you clip it onto your luggage and you, like, hold it up and it weighs how much it weighs. So, I'm holding on to it. She's been holding on it for the past 340 days. <laughs> so, I'm going to let her borrow it for a couple of minutes. Ooh. So, hang on. Let's rephrase this. I bought it, gave it to her to watch. Now, she's going to let me borrow it for when I go home and then take it back. It sounds a bit like I bought that for you. I have no comment. But, well, see, you're going to use it for Kansas too, right? Yes, I'm going to use it. And I'm sort of like the baggage police in our family. I make sure everybody's bag weighs the right amount and not go over. She's a very interested in TSA videos and all of that. Have we, we definitely talked about that. Have we? I don't know. I just, I mean, I know in we my have, life, we've talked yeah. about it. I don't know if we have or not, but I, when I walked in from class today, she was literally on YouTube and she was like, who is it? Puts a knife in their carry-on. <laughs> she loves looking at videos of like, uh, like random things being found in the TSA check. Yeah, and like, like, what's the craziest thing you've seen someone? A vampire straw, which was found in the Boston Logan Airport. Boston Logan Airport. It's just... The vampire straw. You can stab someone's tires with it. Awesome. Like things like that. Like she's full of random facts like that. Yeah. And I'm a sort of over. Like I make sure my parents have nothing illegal in their suitcase. Mm. I'm not sure what. Things they would have that are illegal. But... Oh, last year, mom and dad had a water bottle and a corkscrew. Okay, I just don't think that's illegal. I think that's just recommended yeah. not to. Well, no, dad had a 
bloody going out. <laughs> but it wasn't that big. It was just a safety thing. Yeah. I think they found it in two care boats. So they won't have like a water bottle. Yeah. Go figure that Again, out. Again, I've done it that happens. before. Mom has a lot of water. I feel like we've talked about so much nothing on this podcast today. I think we've enjoyed it. Ravens had a blast. I'm glad. We had this segment planned that was going to be, well, it's your segment, but I don't know if we should maybe make them wait until next week. Yeah. Because we're 35 minutes in, guys. I don't know. What's the segment? Tease it a little. Um. So I feel like I always, not complain, but I'm always like, ew, like what, America, America, America. I have a list of things that like America does that would just like like send Australians into like an absolute spiral. Oh, I'd love to hear it. I don't know. Do, you can like, do you want to tease one and then say, yes, that? tease one, please. Yeah. Cause when we go home, we go out to like a restaurant say I'm like, can I please have some like extra sauce, whatever. It's either going to cost you like 30 to 50 cents. Like it, it's going to cost you for extra sauce. And they give you this tiny little thing. If I want extra sauce here, it's going to come in a cup size mm-hmm. medium. Have you seen the cans? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm picturing. I asked for more sauce at Chick-fil-A. They give me handfuls. Like, you ask for more sauce anywhere else, they're calculating it, and they're charging you for it. So would Australians be, like, pleasantly surprised? Yeah, they would be like, I will, if it was me, I'd be like, hell yeah. Like, everything yeah. in Australia costs money. Oh. Like Wait, does, it cost, does water cost money there, like, in Europe or no? Um, because water's uh, free here at restaurants. If you get a glass, I don't think it doesn't. But if you get, like, a bottle. Well, like, yeah. it depends. Bottle, like, if you said, cost money here. Well, yeah. I, glass is Bottles definitely are sure outrageous that. here. Okay, because like in Europe, I don't know though. You have to yeah. like pay for like tap water. I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> yeah. or maybe I don't know. I don't know. You have to pay for water. Um. So yeah, she has a full list of that. Um. Along with a lot of other like notes lists that we'll probably get into. Oh, I have so um, many notes lists. As we need things to talk about, but for some reason we filled up this whole time talking about I don't even know what. A lot of Raven stuff. A lot of Raven stuff. Be so. nice. And mom and dad, please don't get back at me about the McDonald's hijinks. <laughs> She's already. Oh, I'm so fine with you. It's okay, man. You'll be fine. It was an accident. Her heart rate is like this. You didn't tell me. me. Raven. Are you acting you or want... are you actually scared? No, I'm actually afraid mom and dad are going to deck me. Okay, okay. What were you going to say, Georgia? Are you excited for Mexican tomorrow night? Mexicana, por favor. Again, I hope that's not offensive. <laughs> Sorry. Raven said she was partially Cuban. I am partially Cuban. On my mother's father's side. <laughs> That's in there somewhere. Thank you. I'm also part Spanish. I think we need to end this episode. We're German Um, and English on our side. We're not. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Are you done? No, she's about to say something (laughs) else. She loves her sister. I know. I love you, too. I cannot wait to fly with you to Kansas, my little snookums. Okay. I never get get that type of treatment. Come here, my little snookums. Come here, my little snooky. All right, you guys. It was a pleasure. Thanks for watching this podcast or listening, whatever you did. Um, do you have anything else to say? Mm-mm. Okay. If you guys want that list, we'll do it next. Yeah, week. watch uh, next episode. We won't blabber as much about other stuff. <laughs> um, so thank you guys. I'm Wiz. I'm Georgia. I'm Raven. And we're Queens, Queens of, of the Castle. castle. <laughs> that was. was-